Star Wars. Wow, look at all those people. Look at all those kids. I don't do so well in front of a big bunch of people. You'll be fine, Randy. Well, look at them. They look like really nice people, don't you think? And they're all here because it's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Cousins, turkey, no school. Hanging with my cousins, seeing aunts and uncles, and playing with the snow. Those are all wonderful things. But we're here to remember the most important part of Christmas, the Christmas story. Now, did you read the story in the Bible, Luke chapter 2? Like I asked. Uh, well, you see, I was going to. Mm. Yeah, well, I decided I wouldn't know it well enough. Oh, you know the story well enough. Well, good. Then you can start it for us. Sure. Ready? Long, long ago, in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> No, no, no. You can't start it like that. This isn't Star Wars. No. Well, uh, okay. I got it. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away. No, you can't start it like that, Randy, either. This is not a fairy tale or some make-believe story that you see in movies. This is a real story. Are you sure? Positive. Well, how do you know? Randy, it's because we read the Bible, and we believe that the Bible speaks the truth of God. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you should start the story. Great. Here we go. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of God shone around. And they were terrified. Oh, but Randy, what are you doing? I'm like, terrified, you know, like the shepherds. I realized I like to put myself into a good story. Well, if you could try to put yourself quietly into this good story. Well, no promises, but I'll try. Thank you. An angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of God shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Oh, 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 I know this line. I can do it. Yeah, go ahead. And the angel said to them, I am your father. Randy, Randy, let me tell this part. <laughs> I'll tell this part, Randy. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. What? Where? What will be a sign? Huh? You said it would be a sign. Do you mean like a sign that says no eating chips in church? No. That's not what I meant by sign, Randy. Oh, um, so do you mean like a sign that says like what's your sign? Like like Gemini or Scorpio? No. I'm Gemini. No, no, Randy. The angels are telling the shepherds what they will see. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes, lying in a manger. Hmm. Okay, suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared, with the angels praising God and saying, Glory to God on the highest, and on earth peace to all mankind. When the angels left them and gone on, and gone on to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Hey, oh, I know what they say. Do you really think it's Luke's father? Well, I don't know. Of course, he's wrong to both of them. And they both did have a run again. Randy, stop. Sorry. 
I'll finish. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off. And when they saw him, they spread the word about what they had seen. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured these things and pondered them in her heart. Gus, I do know the last line. I did study that. Can I tell you? Sure, Randy. Go ahead. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they could be told. That's a good song, Randy. No, that story does mind me. The herald angels sing glory to the newborn king. Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas!